side of uh, Penticton. It's a huge body of water. I guess it's called Okanagan Lake, but it goes right up to Kelowna. So it's really far. But to give you some views here, it's kind of really dry up here. If you look at it, it's, it's all deserty. It's fairly dry climate out here. Normally you don't get that much rain here, but um, my buddy was saying, uh, you know, last, uh, since about July, it's been kind of touch and go rain and, you know, sun, rain, different things like that, but it's a nice, nice area. It's pretty cool. And you can see the wineries going way up the hill now. All the wineries, all the grapes and all that. Okay, we'll keep cruising any other interesting um, sights I'll uh, film. Stay tuned. Here's a nice view here. Still uh, Okanagan Lake here. It's still a big, huge lake. It goes forever. But a uh, nice view here. Very nice, dry. There's all sorts of swimming areas. Just every, you know, 5-10 miles you'll find a swimming area or a little park or a campground area it's pretty uh pretty famous for uh you know camping and tourist items stuff to do oh they like cleared an area out here that used to be uh orchards so maybe they're making grapes now see a lot of the apple apple crops the cherry crops they're just not producing not making the money they want to make so they're Introducing lots of grapes now. So grapes are the biggest crops now here Than anything else really But it used to be big on peaches and cherries and apples, but I guess the market softened up quite a bit and the man is a lot less Construction zone Let's Slow her down a bit a Very very nice view. Oh, it's an accent or something there or ambulance sitting there so hard to say what happened here we'll check it out but you see a house way on a hill there some sort of mansion right on top of the hill there way up there kind of cool so let's see what happened here if anything happened at all sometimes when you have traffic it's slow you know you get bump you know fender benders and stuff but it slows down what would happen here? Slow down traffic, and that was it. Fender bender. Oh, yeah, they're scaling the rocks here actually. That's what they're doing. They must have widened the road here. I think the road is a little bit wider. They're attempting, attempting to widen it. They're stabilizing all the rocks up there. That's cool. Okay, we'll keep cruising. We're still, uh, like I say, before Kelowna. I think we just got out of uh, Summerland area, I think, I believe. Okay, there's a local winery right here, Fit Fitzpatrick. Uh, it's a, I guess you have tours and all that, but there, there's some of the grapes that grow, but they also probably have uh, farms in other locations also, but that's one far uh, uh, winery there. And there's a Greta Ranch, there's another, some, another one there, I think. There's a lot out here. Hard to see if that one's the Greta one's one, but lots of wineries all over the place, I'll tell you. Gonna get to a different lane here. Grass cutters up there. But this big body of water, uh, the Ogopogo is somewhere to, somewhere hidden in there, they say. Well it's once a single lane again. Uh, sea monster or something they don't know but every every so many different years you see a sighting of something but some people say it could be a big sturgeon you know a 200 year old sturgeon or something but it's almost like in England it's Loch Ness monster here it's uh, Ogopogo but this lake is huge uh, I'm not sure how deep it is but it's a huge huge lake probably one of the biggest lakes in the Okanagan I believe but huge and really cold cold really cold lake anyway I'm seeing so many dead trees I'm not sure if that's from the pine beetle or not but 
every other tree looks totally dead. It's a big infestation of pine beetle and so on. Not sure if that's related, but there's also was fires in here. I think about, I don't know, five, ten years ago, there's a lot of fires around here. Not sure if that would be fire related or that's it. It looks like fire, yeah. Yeah, that's fire. I can see the stumps are burnt. Looks like a fire came through here maybe years ago. Okay, so we'll cruise until we see more sights. There's another view. We're close to the water. We're about maybe 10 feet off the uh, water. Uh, we're just uh, near Peachland, actually. So uh, we're just heading out of Peachland, I believe. Uh, we're pretty close. or within within uh, le city limits, I believe. But it's uh, beautiful. There's all sorts of uh, swimming areas. There's one over there. Another one coming up. Uh, pretty cool. Really nice. I find it a little kind of cool. I mean, it's still warm, but you know, out here normally 35 is the normal out here. 35, 38 is pretty normal, but this year, like I say, uh, it seems kind of cool. I was seeing like 20, 27, 28, 30. And then we've seen rain, which I find that kind of unusual. Rain and cloud and stuff. Normally, we don't see cloud here. It's just sunny, sunny, sunny. But, anyways, uh, beautiful place still. Come seasons are like that, they go up and down. Sometimes, you know, they're super hot. Sometimes they're kind of, you know, somewhat mild, but. So I think we're, uh, Pe is this Peachland, I believe? We'll know in a second here. Yeah, I guess we're Peachland right now. This is the downtown portion, I believe. You got a boat launch here, different things you got. Yeah, Peach Line is here, yeah. So West Clona will be coming up next, I believe. Okay. Yeah, we're down here in uh, Kelowna now. We go over a bridge. It gets right into Kelowna. Well, there's a lot of changes here since I've been around here. I've been around here for at least, I would say, 10 years in this area. A lot of changes, a lot of little strip malls and different businesses that weren't there before. So, anyways, I still remember the bridge here. So, it's there's a lot of new developments on uh, condos on over there. Never been that many big buildings of like that before. It's all pretty new stuff there. As you can see from North Penticton, all the way here, it's still the same lake. We've been driving like it must have been at least 50 kilometers, at least or more. And it keeps going that way further up. You can see all those new buildings there, all new high rises there on that far corner over there. There's a swimming beach here. I hunt Mel took to there once before. First time I hunted there it was really trashy, but found a gold ring. As we're talking about like 15 years ago. So just never know. I guess we're getting to somewhat rush hour. It's like just over three o'clock. But all these buildings here are new. All those really high, tall high rises. Maybe about 10, 15 story high rises. And they're still more on the way too. So it's really getting built up here. Clone is big. You have like West Bank and then you have uh West Kelowna, Kelowna, and then and if you go further out, Kelowna goes into Vernon later. So I think this goes all the way up. This this lake is huge. But it, it's the only real bridge you see in the interior of the Okanagan, like this kind of bridge that goes over the lake. You know, there's a lot of tiny little bridges, but this is one of your main bridges. It's a really big bridge. So the beach is pretty full actually for swimming. There's a lot of people in there swimming. Pretty cool. There's another high rise going up over there. I see a crane. I see a couple cranes for sure. Okay, well, we'll show you more as we keep moving on here.